All right, today's video, we are going to deal with a uh, hot 3080 Ti Asus Tough Gaming GPUs, man. These things are getting up to 108 now. It's getting hot down here. Ambient temperature outside is getting a little hotter. Humidity, stuff like that is starting to hit. And these cards, these horrible Asus Tough Gaming 3080 Ti's worst thermal heat sinks ever made. Uh, their memories burn about 108, 110. It's ridiculous. So I did just replace the copper. I didn't replace. I added copper shims to one of my Asus Tough Gaming 38 Ti's, and I got the temperature down from 106, 108 down to 89, 90, while mining ETH hash on Ethermine, getting 118 mega hash. So it works. I didn't uh, get the copper plate. I didn't go to cool my GPU on these because they don't have uh, copper plates for the Tough Gaming Asus model. So I said, all right, listen, how tough is this? So I ordered some copper. I'll show you in a second. I ordered a copper sheet for 20 bucks off eBay, Amazon. Both They both have it. It's, uh, what is it? 0.05 inch, 0.06 inch thick. And I am using a Dremel to cut it. I know people say don't use a Dremel to cut copper, but it works. I just want to get this done because things are just burning up. And uh, I need to get this done. This card right here, blue, blue, blue. this card right here was just at 108. And I said, that's it. I got to do this one too. I was going to take a break. I was going to have myself a sandwich, sit down, relax, play some guitar. But no, I have to replace this damn GPUs heat sinks because no, it's not bad enough or good enough that I spent over what 12 600 bucks for this stupid card I got to replace the freaking thermal uh, Pads on these things using copper just to do it right. I, I will not use thermal pads I tried it before try new thermal paste and pads does not work Does not affect these cars. They are burning hot like crazy monsters poor design poor design poor design But they got my money. So who whose fault is that right? All right, so I'm going to rip this puppy apart. You've seen other videos of people just ripping this apart. It's not hard, guys. Do not be afraid. Take your time. Lay your screws out where you uh, undo them. Put this screw from here to here, here to here. You just map it out and you're good to go. Uh, the only screws on here are pretty straightforward. Oh, my light's in the way. One. Dos. Take all these four outer ones. Then take the spring off, keep them where they go so you know where to put them back. That's the big secret here. That's the magic sauce to doing anything. And hey, record it as well because then you can always play back the video. It's like, oh my God, where does that screw go? Screws here, one, two. Just put them like right up here to map where they go so you just easily put them back. It'll save you minutes, man. It'll save you a lot of time. These two screws, blam, put them right there. So when you put them back on, it's easy. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I got those two already. Put them up here. Blam. Make sure you know that always, I always do this. I say, put the PCIe tongue mail up. Hey now, you know what I'm talking about. And then that way you'll know the position to have your GPU when you go to reassemble the puppy. All right? All right. This thing's a little, ah, it's cooled down. Uh let's start i'm just going to start taking it apart my little trusty screw or little magnetic tip is gold because i can just pick the screws up put it in anyway this is common sense all i need for this is my copper sheets and my mx4 baby i can't even read the mx4 thermal compound they used to make thermal putty uh no one makes it anymore i don't know why a silicone thermal putty was gold for uh, thermal conductivity but this is the way to go now and if you buy the uh, copper plates from Coal My GPU, you can order this as well. And you basically lather it on both sides of the copper shim, copper plate, plop her down, blammo. Now, the other thing I am using is, hold on a sec, I'm not prepared. Oh my God, I might as well get this stuff out. Little spatula for application. Captain tape. And I got some thermal paste on it. Great, there we go. And what I'm going to do is around the memory, I'll show you, around the memory, I'm going to wrap this in captain tape just in case the copper moves or touches 
any of those resistors. I don't want to short out the GPU. I did it on another 3080 Ti. I just plugged back in and it worked like a champ. It just gives you that extra, that extra insurance. So when you put the thing back together, it runs. You don't have to worry about it moving and touching anything and going bzzz, and a little smoke cloud will appear. I'm trying to do two things at once right now. Hold on. So that's the, that's the goal here, guys. If you have an Asus Tough Gaming 3080 Ti, this video is for you. You can do it yourself. Again, if, if um, you can go buy copper templates for the, for the 3080 Ti Strix cards and other, other GPUs, uh, about 60 bucks and stuff from Cool My GPU and all that stuff. Not affiliated, nothing like that, not part of the company. They just make it easy. I think he has a laser cutter. He cuts out a nice template. You just plop it right over the other side of this card under the heat sink. Blammo, add the paste and you're done. Me, I'm gonna go cut my shims myself, my little Dremel tool, and it works. It just saved me waiting for uh, someone else to make it for me, and I just cut out the shims, and I'll show you, we'll get rolling. All right, I'm gonna take this apart. Not too exciting, so uh, no need to film it. I'll be back when it's open. All right, guys, I have it apart. Okay, there's the thermal paste. I'm just gonna use the spatula to scrape that off. Scrape it off the memory, and I'm going to take off this this heat sink right here, and then the, then I'll start measuring to make sure I have the right size copper shims, and I'll start cleaning up and uh, put on the shims. All right, so clean up the putty first, the paste first. Take this crap off, and then we'll take uh, we'll take off this template. And I'll save the heat the uh, thermal pads just in case I. I mess it up, so you just got to pry off this piece right here. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Use a little wedge, get under here. There you go, just like that. Just have to shim it up a little bit. There you go. And these are GPU riser thermal pads I put on. It had no effect at all. Didn't lower the memory temperatures at all. That's why I say do not waste your money on thermal pads. Just get the copper and do it right. Spend, you know, it's about the same price, man. These damn thermal pads cost a lot of money for little squares of it. And add the putty in, you just get the copper and the thermal paste and you're good to go. All right, I'm going to clean this mess up measure my memory again and I'm going to go out and cut it clean it get the burrs off and uh, put them back in place all right we'll be back all right we are all cleaned up look at that cleaned off the memory cleaned off the uh, chip cleaned off the heat sink now I'm going to apply paste thermal paste to the memory first no 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 sorry correct that I'm going to apply the Kapton tape around the memory to protect those resistors right there there's a couple resistors right there there's a couple right there in front of those i just want to protect those in case the copper ever moves which i hope it doesn't it shouldn't and then uh, that'll just protect that just extra insurance so that's time consuming here is the tape right here not cheap but it is it does work it protects your board okay i'm just going to put it like I said, around the memory and then be done with that. And I'm gonna, I'll put the paste on and then I'm gonna save cutting the copper for last because that's that's going outside and getting set up there. This okay. is the 0.05 inch copper sheet. Uh, k &S makes it, you can get it from Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. And uh, here is I'm cutting, here's where I did cut out the first set of shims for the uh, first 3080 Ti. Use the old Dremel. Right, not the best solution, but it works. I got to get these things cool down, and I needed to do it quick, and this worked fine. And then I just kind of used a little sander bit here to smooth off the edges, and uh, good to go. And that was it. Wiped them down with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, cleaned them off pretty good, made sure there was no uh, burrs or any sharp edges and any dust. Uh, cleaned them off good, and I'm, once I do that, I'll put paste on both sides. Slap them on top of the memory. I already pasted that up and I'll be good to go. Put that back in the rig and God, let's get it below 108, man. This is ridiculous. I hate these Asus cards. All right, I'm out. All right, here we have the copper added. 
uh, Kapton tapes and plays protecting the resistors put down uh, thermal paste on the memory itself put the copper on and then on top of the copper I put some more thermal paste which will be touching the heat sink and that's it guys and they're going to reinstall this puppy put it back together and hook All her right, back we up. are back I have the two Asus tough gaming GPUs back installed zero and one you'll see they're at 94 and 88 so that's about I'd say for a uh, GPU zero it was running pretty much about 106 108 so I'm gonna say 12 degree drop and again it is hot out today the ambient temperature is hot and humid so this is almost one of the worst case scenarios right now testing these uh, cards with my uh, copper mod so there popped up the 96 GPU ID one I just did I popped in that one's running a bit cooler at 88 uh, GPU ID 2 is uh, Asus Tough Gaming as well. I did not do that one yet. I need to go get, um, I ran out of thermal paste, so I need to get more thermal paste. And I think I need to get another cutting tool for the uh, Ryobi or just get some tin shears to cut it. Either way, I got it. I'm just going to hold off on that one there, 106. That one definitely needs to be done. Uh, GPU ID 3 is a Asus Strix card. Different different model you could say that has a cool my gpu template uh plate on it that's at 76 the bottom two i ordered two more plates for those they should drop those down in the 70s as well those aces tough cards again i just think tough gaming that's why no one's really made a um cooling plate for them yet they're just hard to cool and again i put a lot of paste on i put a 0.05 inch 16 gauge copper on these guys and again ID1 GPU ID1 is looking really good uh, ID0 again if that's the worst it's gonna get on weather like out today like it's hot and humid and I have the uh, AC in the house here about 78 so I usually turn it up during the day because nobody's really here so again this is one of the worst conditions to test these uh, I'm gonna I am gonna run another test later tonight once the sun goes down and I put the AC deck down to 75, 74, and we'll see, they should definitely drop the mem temps. But you can see, uh, based on ID2, how hot these Asus Tough Gaming 3080 Ti's get. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's just awesomely dangerous in a way that, you, that things get that hot and still operate. But um, right now, again, these terrible conditions, I'm seeing 96 and 88 on the two cards I just did myself cutting out my own shims and uh, again once uh, right before when I pulled out ID 0 and ID 1 especially ID 1 it was at 108 degrees Celsius and that was probably an hour and a half ago before I did the mod and cut everything out hardest part is cleaning the card uh, cutting isn't too bad it's not perfect but I'm just trying to cover the memory and I put the captain tape on as well to protect any um, resistors or anything in case stuff moves so yeah, there you go. It's just every card has its own personality, and I will do uh, ID zero two GP two next to get that down below a hundred, and I will be happy. Like I said, I got temp uh, copper plates coming for the bottom two because can't beat seventy six degree mem temps. Again, extra money spent on this for the uh, copper myself and the paste and that probably with the bottom three cards getting the uh, strix model copper template from coal my gpu that's like 200 bucks i'm gonna say yeah probably 100 yeah 200 for, for this whole thing i spent probably more than i should have but i wanted to get the temps down probably under 225 you could say uh again they don't make a template a copper plate for the uh, top three cards the aces tough gaming so i just said i needed to do this myself especially in the climate I'm in, I needed to get those memory temperatures down. And ambient temperature really affects the memory on these cards. And there you see four as at 73. Again, it's just hot. It's just hot. And uh, I need to get more air blowing on that guy, GPU four. So part of this damn crypto mining, guys, it's heat management, electricity management, but mostly heat management, how to get that air handling, how to keep the machines and the devices cool. That's, that's the biggest curve of learning right now. 
and uh, I seem to have a handle on it. I'm happy. If that's the worst GPU ID0 is going to get 96, my God, that's that's awesome. Because again, it was 108, 110. Same with ID1, that was 108 and 110. And you'll see uh, two, 104 is pretty high for that, but uh, that's what I've been seeing. So anyway, copper is king. Takes a little bit of work, DIY, or you can go pay for the um, copper plate if they have the model supported for your GPU. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but it, it is something worth looking into. Yeah, all right, that's all I got. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's just a DIY project. I'm an idiot. I did it. I did it with the uh, cutouts from a company, and I did it myself. I cut my, out my own copper, uh, and it works fine. It, I wish it was lower, but again, I think those tough gaming cards suck as far as heat management. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, thanks for watching.